Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. Too bad it wasn't the Institute. Not to worry, Knight. You'll be dealing with them sooner than you think. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Where can I get more signal grenades? I'd use the supply I gave you sparingly. These devices are far more complex than a standard smoke grenade. Should you need more, you should acquire them from Proctor Teagan. Will the vertebrates stay and help me fight? I'm afraid I can't spare a fully armed gunship for this task. A standard transport will have to suffice. Of course. Nothing stopping you from using the door gun while in flight. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team. According to our scribes, the reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Sounds like you're gonna have me crawling through the sewers now. It could be the sewers, the transit tunnels, or maybe an old vault. We just don't have enough information right now. I want you to get out there, and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me Immediately. Any questions, Knight? Could those mysterious energy readings Paladin Dance's recon team detected be related to teleportation? The level of technology that the Institute possesses is far beyond our own. So we're not certain. However, that would explain why the readings are so random and short-lived. I'll have our scribes focus on improving our scanning techniques to learn more. Anything else you wanted to ask, Knight? Aren't there any pre-war records about the Institute that might help us? Our records indicate that the Institute was born from the remnants of a pre-war educational facility. The Commonwealth Institute of Technology. The ruins of the facility are at the center of the city, but we've already searched them thoroughly. The location appears to have been abandoned long ago, so it appears that the trail ends there. Anything else, Knight? Any suggestions where I should look next? Your meeting with Dr. Amari seemed fairly telling. If the Institute has the capability to teleport its synths, then we're in for quite a fight. There must be a way to tap into the teleport signal, and your mysterious lead in the glowing sea could provide us with the answer. If you need any assistance mitigating the radiation in that godforsaken location, speak to Proctor Teagan. I'm certain he'd be willing to help. Not right now, Elder. Very well, then. Dismissed. <laughs>